All right, so usually I do a handful of spinach and a handful of kale um, out of one of those containers. I don't have that, so I basically have the equivalency of two handfuls of a handful of spinach and a handful of kale in regular old kale, not those containers that's like baby kale and baby spinach. Usually that's what I use. It's really easy to get, really easy to use. Um, problem is, for some reason, every time I go to the grocery store, they're out of those containers right now. So I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, so what I have, I have that. So this is a substitute, once again, for a handful of spinach and a handful of kale, baby kale, baby spinach. Or you can just do like one big thing of spinach or one big thing of kale. It doesn't really matter. It affects the taste. Kale, I think, is supposed to have more nutrients than uh, than spinach, but I, I don't know, whatever. It works both ways just fine for me. So there's that. Um, my head my head of romaine, this is the last one I had. Not the biggest one ever. But you need one head of romaine. Okay, I'm gonna move some of these things out of the way here. Well, let's actually take that back. So we'll go finish going through this. You have one whole cucumber. This is gonna be a half of a lemon. One red delicious apple, one Granny Smith apple, and an inch of ginger, which is a hard thing to measure. So just kind of play with that a little bit. For me, it's different every time. Sometimes I have more of a ginger coming through and less. Sometimes I have less. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started here. So first off, with the lemon, and I apologize for the light here. It's just the way the light's coming in through the window. And it's a high window that doesn't have uh, blinds on it. So I can't really do much about that. Um, so with this, when it comes to the lemon, you want to shave off the yellow. I can't remember exactly why. Something about it's not healthy for you. It's been a really long time since I, since I learned the reason for that. But yes, you want to do that. Still do that now. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's pretty good. Now, I can't believe how lucky I've gotten here, but you want to also get rid of um, any seeds you see in there as well. I am not seeing any seeds. Oftentimes, when you cut it this way, I cut it into fours like this because it's just easier for the juicer. Um, usually by then you see some seeds, but still no seeds. Okay, cool. So we'll move these aside. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. Get these out of here. So I would put this in with the pulp, but I'm not going to do that because this is going to go to a worm composting bin. And worms can't do acid. So anything acidic, like a lemon, and it's just something they can't be doing. So we get that out of the way. That's ready. Uh, let's move on to the remain here. I'm gonna slide some things over here a little bit so we have some room. Uh, the remain, I like to take the bottom off here. Now that can go to the bin. So I'm just gonna toss that in there. And this way, these just, they come right off. Makes it very, very easy to just have like leaves to throw in once you do that. All right, so we'll get this out of the way next. Yeah. So I take these tops off. I don't know if that even matters. I probably don't need to do that. Um, and then I'll cut this down because it has to fit into this guy. So I'll cut this into fours as well. So here's one four. And two. And this is never perfect. For some reason, the knife wants to go in different directions once you start moving down the line there. But it ends up working out just fine. You have room to throw that in there. So we're good. So this is ready. Lemon's ready. Cucumbers are ready. I need to give myself much room here to work because I'm doing this video. But All right, let's move on to these guys now, our apples. So the apples... I have this nifty little apple cutter, so I'll just push through here. And up there goes one of the apples. I think I'm gonna have to rinse that guy. Give me one second. All right. So I love it. It's like a blooming onion. 
from what restaurant is that? Alpac, I think. Anyway, so there's that. This guy, throw it in here. Apples, ready, those ones anyway. And we'll do the next ones. And the next one. A floor apple. Come on, you. Okay. Now we're pretty much there. Just about ready to go. Ginger. This is always weird because it's like an inch of ginger is what it calls, what I remember seeing it called for in the juicing Bible. Um, and I, I don't remember what the name of this recipe is. If I find it, I'll put it in the video. But um, yeah, an inch of ginger is different here than it is here, is it not? Right? So we're going to go ahead and just play around here. Come up with what I think is like the right amount. That's probably too much, probably maybe just enough. I don't know. There, whatever. We'll work with that. If it's not enough ginger, you can always add more. So, there we go. We are ready to get started. Um, you can't see on here, but there's a dial. If you have an Omega 8600, or I can't remember which one I even have, it's not that one, but it has these uh, dials here. Okay. And the further you turn it in, the tighter it gets at the uh, dispense, the, the spout at the end. So it gets more juice out of it. Let me just make sure my focus is good. Yeah, it's locked. All right, so yeah, the more juice it's gonna get out of it. Um, but it also will, if something's like this, where, it, where it's like, it's not like a rough green, but it's like a really soft fruit, then it's gonna like not allow the pulp to get through. It needs to get through so you can go tight for stuff like this a little less tight for stuff like this a little less tight for stuff like this barely even on i'll put it on like this little dot for these guys and then like i can even just take the whole thing off when it comes to the, to the uh, cucumbers so we'll go ahead, i'll stick that on there i for my juicer i start pretty tight and i start with the kale or spinach now, again, this is usually a lot easier with the baby spinach or baby kale, but we don't have that luxury today. I think this is probably better for us anyway. Nah, I don't really know, but we'll go ahead and get that going in there. Now, every juice is a little different. I recommend using a slow mass getting juicer like this one. The reason being is it does not introduce a lot of oxidative oxidization oxidization I think that's right um, because when you do with like a centrifugal juicer like the cheaper ones you buy at like uh, I don't know Macy's and shit like they spin really 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 fast and you just pulverize things and just add all kinds of oxygen into them um, you don't really get that much juice out of it see this is squeezing the, sh the hell out of it to get that juice out um, it doesn't yield as much and because of that oxidization it doesn't last as long. So say you wanted to actually like seal up some juice, stick it in the fridge and have it like the next morning. I don't know if that's, I think it can get away with 24 hours. Maybe even more, I have to look into that again. It's been a long time again since I looked into that because I just drink my juice fresh. Like as soon as I make it, I drink it. But yeah, with those type of juicers, you can't do that at all. With this, you can get some time out of it and you yield way more juice. So. It's the way to go. But if all you have is that centrifugal, by all means, juice, just drink it right away. That's too big. Ah, really shouldn't have tried to put that in there, but we did it, so we gotta live with it. Pounding it down till it goes. There we go. All right. You can see how good this looks. Look at that. Nice and dry. That's what you want. That's that's telling you that it got all the juice out of it. Come on. Definitely. 
definitely putting way too big of pieces in here. Is I put another way too big piece in. Yeah, actually, that one wasn't as bad. Alright, we're almost through with the kale. Okay, kale is in. So I'll loosen this front a little bit. Yeah, it's really on there. There we go. There, about half for the uh, remain. Because there's, it's a softer vegetable. A little more juice in it. So you're going to get a lot of nutrient. You may not get as much juice out of the kale as you would, say, the apple or the um, cucumber. But you're getting a lot of nutrients out of that. And the other thing you're doing, too, is... Um, like for instance, there's a lot of nutrients in a cucumber, right? For a cucumber, and you wouldn't expect it to be that much, but there is. You do a whole one, you know? Especially if you're drinking a whole cucumber. Rarely are you sitting down to eat an entire cucumber, right? But um, the other thing about it, too, is there's a ton of water in it. So a lot of the juice, the largest yield of this juice is going to be in this cucumber, which is zero calories. Okay? So that's really going to help keep the calories of this juice down while getting a lot of nutrients out of it. Also too, because you're not doing a ton of fruit, two apples, come on, you can sit down and eat two apples. Um, the sugar content isn't super high We're good because of that either. Always add a cucumber to like lower calorie intake still get some vitamins and get a lot of juice I mean otherwise let me show you what we have here with just just the spinach and this romaine and some done with it here because we're close I remember when I was trying to decide whether or not to buy this juicer. The guy on YouTube talked about it. It's kind of just like the juicer, in this case, the slow masticating. It's, it sort of acts like your your mouth, like in your teeth. It chews up your food, <laughs> essentially. And it uh, just gives you the good stuff. It does the work that you digestive system would have had to have done to get the nutrients into your body. So you're going to burn up, you're going to use less energy in the digestive process to get the nutrients, the benefits of this produce. So that's good. Looking good. Looking clear in here. It looks like we got all the pulp out. Oh, and a little piece of vermin. Okay. So, give this a second. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. I'm going to stop it for a second. And it's still dripping. Don't want to waste any of it. Do a little tilt action. There you go. Okay. This is all you really get. It's hard to see. And it's gonna be hard for me to do because of where I have this camera, but it's maybe that much, right? That's a lot of juice if you think about it for all that kale and remain. And then like to have all this be left over. That's all that's left over, just this. And you really got everything out of that remain and that's that kale. All right. Let's get back to it. Alright, so I just like to go from hardest to softest. Uh, that's just my way. I don't know if it's the right way or the best way, but here we go. Moving into apples. So 
to check and see if we're still recording. Yep. All right. Moving into apples. And this is just in my head. It's my logic. For some reason, I feel like the acids and the lemon are going to help the ginger mix to, you know, really get into the juice better. So for some reason. I don't know if it's sure or not, but that's what's in my head. So when I get to the lemons, I'll do the ginger with the lemons. Yeah, there could be nothing at all to that, or maybe there is something to it, I don't know. And I didn't loosen this up. Yeah, let some of that pop get through a little more. So it's getting backed up in here a little bit. And this is what I mean by oxidization. If you look, you can already see browning on this apple, right? That's oxidization. Like as soon as that starts to happen, it's going bad. You're not getting, you're losing nutrients in this, in this produce is what's happening. You want all the nutrients out of it. Otherwise, what the hell is the point, right? That's what we're doing this for. So the quicker we get this in here, the better. And that's just surface stuff. That's not gonna hurt anything, so. Still, quicker the better, so. Lemon, piece of ginger. Lemon, piece of ginger. This is my little routine. Again, like I said, I don't know if there's anything to it, but hey, this is what we're gonna do. All right. Lemon, ginger. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh yeah, I went in, okay. Lemon. As soft as this is, I'm gonna take this off all together. That way we can get through the process. There we go. Okay. Now, since you really can't tell, I'm gonna tell you right now, this container is about halfway full. And all we have left is this cucumber. This cucumber is gonna take a wrap to the rim. I guarantee it. So, here we go. See how right we are about that. And since it's so soft, you'll even see it backing up the channel here in a second. Okay. think is really crazy it's just how much it just amazes me every time how much produce we went through to end up with these two little containers one of pulp and one of juice I mean that was a pretty big pile I mean we, we were it was like this and it's just, that's it, that's all that's left now. I know I said about the worms and the lemons. They can have a little bit of acidity, not too much. That's why this juice pulp will be okay. But them just eating this straight up solid acidic stuff will hurt them. It'll burn their skin, kill them. If it's mixed in like that, it's not as, like, it's okay. Like, I've never had a problem. So, in case anyone was thinking, well, he just said they can't have lemons. Anyway. All right, look at that. It's pretty much it. We're good. And we have about, I don't know, an inch maybe at the top that's left. We went from half of it to, like, like just being an inch left. So I'd say, um, I don't know, a little more than a quarter of the juice is that. I don't know, maybe, not whatever. All right, so that does that. Let me go ahead and, I don't know about this music in the background thing. Okay, whatever. Okay, so we got our juice, we got our pulp. 
So this guy will want to continue to drip a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just, I like to do a little tilt to get things going. Sometimes I'll run it backwards just to see if anything more comes out from running it backwards and I'll run it forward again. And it's dripping. I know you guys can't really see that, but it's dripping. And that's pretty good. So we'll move this out of the way and move this in, catch the drips. And there's our juice. I mean, there's a good bit there. Pretty much full. We'll see how much we yield. So some people like their juice pulpy. I'm not a fan. So I like to strain it one more time. Or just once here, just to get any pulp that might have gone through. And then we'll get a final tally. Oops, I poured a little too quick there. I'm dripping on the side. There, there's some pulp. I'm gonna take this to my sink. Again, I think the pulp's good for you and it helps with, the, with, the, with digestion. But I'm a wuss, what can I tell you? Don't like the way it feels, so I'm taking it out. And I shake it a lot so that I can still get the juice out of like this pulp. There. Don't wanna waste it, you know? So there's that, let's see where we are. We are at I think it's okay to go ahead and take this down from my stand there. We are, get this off of here, at just over, it's like three and a third cups, which is a lot of juice. It's over 24 ounces. It's pretty darn good, and that is a nice color too on that juice. I think it came out pretty good. It probably tastes just as good too. So, I'll see if I can pour. I got juice on my phone. <laughs> Screen there, okay. Let's see what it looks like. Some rewarding about that first pour. Looking good. All right. You'll excuse me. I'm not showered or anything today, so let's get a drink of this stuff here. Mmm. Oh, hell yeah.